Hello, my friends. Today we are going to play another game of How Would You Live On This? My most recent contributors, Peggy and Rodney, Jessica, Jilly Beans, Marriage Munchkins and Mascara, and Miss Jamie Lynn. And a special thank you to my most recent Patreon patrons, George and Gabrielle. All right, now we haven't played this game in a little while, but I do think it's time because the prices are still crazy, right? And some people are just trying to stretch all the money they can. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say we have a limited amount of foods in the pantry and in the house. And we are going to live on this food for about two days. So let's go over what we have here. We have some basic um, like flavorings like we have salt black pepper and basil as well as some garlic powder we have some fresh green beans so this is the only fresh food left in the house and here is a bag of dry navy beans and then back over here there's two cans of diced potatoes there is a bag of quinoa a box of macaroni and cheese a bag of sugar some unsweetened applesauce, a can of crushed tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes, two cans of evaporated milk, and a can of tuna. This is one of those large cans of tuna. I think it's about 12 ounces. So what we are going to think about is how would we live on this food for two days? What combinations can we come up with? And there's not going to be any money that you can spend at the store or anything, okay? It's just living on what you have. And the overwhelming majority of this food is our pantry ingredients. So there are quite a lot of people who basically just have some stuff in the cabinets that sometimes they have to manage how they are going to eat, feed themselves and their family, let's say until payday comes around again, or maybe they're waiting for their social security check or anything, just anything like that, okay? Maybe you have a surprise bill, like a utility bill that just, you know, really sky went sky high, uh, a new insurance payment you have to make, anything like that, okay? So I'm going to give you my ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from these foods. All right, so the green beans here are very beneficial because even though we're limited, in this scenario on how much fresh food we have there there is quite a bit of green beans in there and they they really they kind of look like they're garden fresh so we know that they're going to be really good uh, the navy beans here is also very beneficial because it is a natural food so it's pretty much almost as good as the green beans in terms of in terms of health right because there's nothing added to it okay so uh but we're we're going to focus first on breakfast okay so carefully just look at these items one more time now for breakfast my idea is this i think i'm going to make a hot cereal of quinoa and some granulated sugar and some of this evaporated milk which I'm going to add water to and I'm going to thicken it up with some of this unsweetened applesauce which there is a lot of so you can actually um, if you kind of are short on the milk here so there's not too much milk right but you could add more applesauce and more sugar just basically to get a larger quantity of food in your bowl so that's my idea for breakfast now for lunch, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a salad of, let's say half of the green beans, these diced potatoes, and this tuna right here. Now you see there's no mayonnaise or anything like that here, no oil or anything like that, but that's going to be okay because we're going to rely on the tuna juice for the flavor as well as a little bit of garlic powder and salt and pepper and some basil so it's going to be the potatoes the tuna and 
half of the green beans. So really the only work with the green beans is you have to kind of take off the hard ends and chop the green beans up maybe into like fours. All right. I think that is going to make a very filling lunch. Now you could also make it spread a little further by adding some beans. Okay, but I'm, I'm thinking beans are going to be great for dinner in this scenario. So my dinner idea out of this food is a soup made with crushed tomatoes, which we can water down and that's going to get it thinner, right? It's going to get it thinner and soupier and some diced tomatoes as well as some green beans, half of the green beans kind of like diced up or chopped up, as well as this can or this box of Velveeta macaroni and cheese. I know you're thinking like why would you add that into soup? Because it's really supposed to be, it's like creamy meant to be eaten on its own. So I would do that because I think the cheese, that, that tangy cheese, it's just going to add a kick to the soup and we already know macaroni and cheese and tomatoes is something that people have been eating as a combination for a long time, right? So I think the soup, yeah, I think these together would be great. And then I'm going to add some navy beans to that, okay? Because I think that's going to make it really, really filling. So with that said, this is going to make a whole lot of beans. So maybe I will take about a third to half of the bag and put that in with the lunch. So those are my ideas for these foods and I would like to know what you would do in this scenario and maybe also if you're going through any kind of situation where you kind of have to rely on food that you have, you can't go to the store. Maybe you live rurally and it's very difficult to get, to get around. Maybe your car broke down or just whatever. If you're in that kind of scenario, just you can just mention it in the comments if you want. Um, because I know a lot of people are just relying on, you know, some of the basics that they have. And they can't run to the store. They can't run to the farmer's market. So this exercise right here, um, I like to do these. And I haven't published one in a little while. So I hope that this is helpful to you. Maybe it gets your mind going and, you know, coming up with ideas for what to do with some things that maybe you have in your own house. I know a lot of people just really don't live in a situation where they can get the, you know, the food that they need when they want as easily. So it's good to think about stuff like this and come up with alternatives for yourself. All right. So uh, I'll see you guys in the comments and I hope this video uh, was useful for you and enjoyable. Talk to you soon.